Hey guys, J Games here again. This week, what if Ichigo had every hollow power? We see how this would happen is, well, first off, we have the Soul King who, well, he sees Aizen's plotting and even sees Aizen's, well, version of White, the hollow. And, well, eventually, even the Soul King doesn't see it, but he pre pre predicts it. And the Soul King would basically see, kind of, kind of basically just see in the future of all of Aizen's planning, how he would, how he would try, to, try to create more hollow like White. Which will lead to the Visards and a few more being Ichigo as well, who would actually save the world. Or the galaxy, if you want to put it that way. Or the or all three dimensions. So the Soul King began doing his own thing, and he already knew he'd be destroyed, so he let he let that happen. As he lets this happen, he eventually, when it came to like a window being formed, well every hollow that would enter it, he began pulling apart a bit of the Reishi all and pouring it in to well, a ball. This ball would basically be left on land of living. In a certain area that a seven-year-old Ichigo would stumble across. Seven-year-old Ichigo, well, he's already, he's already started playing abilities that allow, allow, allow him to use Reishi, thanks to Soul King. And eventually when Ichigo would, well, when he would stumble across the area when he's seven years old, playing, 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 playing with Orihime and a few other friends, he would eventually, well, well eventually find this ball, and all Reishi shot right into his body, giving Ichigo, well, a lot more intense Reishi. Now, mainly, mainly everyone in Car Curtain that can sense Reishi felt this felt this pressure from Ichigo. But if they knew who Ichigo was, they weren't too scared. Because they knew it was coming from him, and he's a seven-year-old kid. Misaki and Ichigo worried the fact that Ichigo was around other kids at the moment. But Ichigo eventually came over, saying that Ichigo has to go home right now. Something happened. Something happened, Ichigo kind of picked up Ichigo and ran away at the top speeds. Misaki was already, already met Ichigo halfway, and they both ran home frantically, with Orohara meeting them halfway there. We were all visited in the air, telling them... To Urahara's shop now. And they all agree. As you get to Urahara's shop, they were setting Ichigo's body for body for a few hours as he's unconscious right now. And Urahara says it seemed like every ounce of Ichigo's, Ichigo's body is seemingly, seemingly being consumed by hollow power, but then Ichigo's body is eating it back so his body can become more balanced. Then, after an hour to hour to after a day or two, Ichigo's power and Reishi had become completely become hollified. But his physical, his physical appearance didn't change too much, besides him getting a horn. The horn's only visible to those with, with Reishi. Because eventually, Ishin says he can't see the horn until, to like, Masaki would kind of channel Reishi into him, and when she held it in, he's actually, he's actually able to see the horn a bit. So yeah. Ishin's vision, vision right now, right now for like, spiritual stuff is about, about, about like, Yuzu level, so no, it's not too high. But you notice that Ichigo now has basically some hollified body parts, but Ichigo is still in full control, he's actually impressed. It even has that one black and yellow eye, while other eyes are completely, completely normal. Now, Aizen did not expect this whatsoever, and he had been nervous. The point where, with the pressure that was giving off, he sent Grimjow, Hollybell, and Stark. He sent these to the fact that he wants, wants, to, wants to, a pretty, pretty, pretty balanced on his power. Stark, because his power is not, like, it's insane, the levels of power, but if he leaves, well, there can be more people to handle this place, even for Hollybell and Grimjow. They're both, they're, all three of them are, all three are trying to be strong, and then whenever, whenever, whenever they, they use their, 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 their resurrection their skills. But every spotter that's left, if they, they were to use their own, they beat the, the three that leave. So, yeah. But as a group, the, the little remaining spotter are about as strong as the three that leave. So, yeah. As we go, as we go to go investigate Ichigo, though, they're only confronted by just every single Visard and Urahara. Well, not Urhar. They come to every single visor and Tessai. And with this, immediately, if you guys want to about one of the special society, well, it went off for like a second or two, but Urhar, the only sense it, immediately began like, kind of jamming anything related to technology in the whole society for a, brief, for a brief moment. So the ratings that went off the charts for a second immediately moved back to normal, then when she just shut off completely. And I already thought his technology just broke, but and by the time he got it back on, immediately, each just power, 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 power had already subsided. So Ohara barely saved Ichigo's life. Barely. But Ichigo's power, power, power shook Helicamundo and the land of the living. Like, it shook two dimensions. That, that, that is how insane it is. <laughs> but yeah. So with the nine visards, um, Tessai being a, being, I assume someone who's probably, who's probably captain level, because he's, he's former head, head of the Hito Corps. And, well, even Ohara steps out like, 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 like 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 two like, minutes later into the battle, like Grimjo is the only one in his like in his like resurrection. But Holly Bell and Stark are, are trying pretty hard to beat all the Vigers in tandem. But when Shiro Hara comes down, 
telling them that the boys are awake and, and they, they can investigate them all they want, but if they try, if they, if they try, 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 try to kill them, they will, all, they will all die here. Now, Ichigo kind of walked, walked over to Stark and Haribel and, and Grimjow, and Ichigo began to immediately flex his power and immediately, was well, unintentional, we did it, and immediately Stark, Haribel, and everyone around him got pushed to their knees with how strong he was. He knew that as he got he's able to lower his power, and eventually they got back up. We look at the, at the letters belonging to the three of them. It was handed out as immediately a purplish barrier kind of pulled their letter off. And pulled their number off, which actually views all three of them. To the, letter, to the point that the letter is just destroyed. For some reason, Eisen can't sense the three of them anymore. They're gone. He's, he's like a mundo. He's on the social side. He's in Hokamundo right now, establishing all the Espada and giving, giving, uh, confirming their power. The three of them vanish off the face of the earth. Aizen's first thought is that, that the visors and Urohara got to them and killed all, all three of them for entering the, the land of living. Well, he assumes that they're killed. He is what he assumes immediately. So, yeah. And with this, they actually shocked that Ishiro could remove such a letter that was given by Aizen and that they didn't lose their power. But Ishiro actually says that for some reason he feels that they're good guys. And he thought of his hands and as power is probably blowing into all three of them to insane degrees. Ichiro's pulling in every ounce of airborne reishi. I think how Quincy's do it. Ichiro's doing that himself. Pull, pull it all to the point where like he blew all it within the range of ten miles and pours it into the three of them. It was immediately how much power they're given. Well, she was eventually able to actually have the have their power in the little point where Stark Stark's presence does not kill any hollows. And when she he's just like, oh yeah, you you threw what you threw what he needs suppressors to be well not be not scanned by um by Shinigami, so I'll give you time to get whatever you need if you're gonna join our side. Because Ichigo Ichigo give did you guys a favor, you're all really strong now. And they all acknowledge favors, as when as when Grimner tries to say it was no favor, he did that because he wanted to, like I didn't want it. Holly Bell forces them to accept to get the favor and join their side because they seem to be, be generally good. And plus, they, they, they want to fight against Aizen. So yeah, Sark says, he doesn't want to fight against Aizen, but if what he, well, if what their heart says about Aizen is true, Aizen will eventually backstab them. So just, just save just save him him and, Lil, him and Lil Annette's neck later on. He's a main main Aizen. Holly Bell wants to save on Saber Fraction, so she'll leave, and Grimdar just doesn't like Aizen, so he doesn't care. Like Holly Bell and Stark want to say you'll say the fraction mainly. That's the only reason. That's the only reason they're betraying Aizen. But then Grimdar just doesn't care. <laughs> he just doesn't like Aizen in general. But Holly Bell and Stark went, went back, and they're they're able, able to wear like to wear like really like 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 like, 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 like Rishi and Killing cloaks, so it's personal power. And when Stark found the Lynette, she's like, "Oh, who are you?" But Stark revealed who he was, saying he's demanding Aizen. Let's go. This confused his Lynette, but she jumped under under his cloak, he picked her up, and he, he, and he left. And then with this, well, well Hollybell Holly Bell grabbed her fraction, who actually out, out actually kind of fighting a few hollows just to gauge their power to replace Hollybell, who had supposedly died. When Hollybell found them, she's like, alright, come on, come on, we're leaving, we're leaving. Like, I'm like, like here's, here's cloaks, get in, go. But, but they point out Nelliel, saying that they found her, and, and she actually just like, like, yeah, who's she? As, as they, they don't recognize Nelliel. They 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 like, seen her as an adult form when I was a kid, because she has like she has like she has like, like, a, like a cracked spot mask. Well, else sees who this is and says, "She's a former. She had my rank before me, and for my betting, she's so stronger than me right now." Immediately, immediately the one that wanted to kill her to get her out of the way, but immediately, immediately just Holly Bell picked her up, putting on the cloak, and her favorite she owned went, went with them. And they, they they got cloaks as well. Or they're gonna try to put on the cloak and just held, held up two of the um, two of her fraction two of uh. Holly Bell's Fraction, and then Pesh, Pesh, or Pesque, picked up the third one while wearing a cloak and just ran into the portal, portal with Holly, Holly Bell. With this, the Fraction are back, and Grimjow made a maiden, not Grimjow, I mean, um, also Grimjow does not care enough about, about, about his Fraction to go save them. He doesn't care enough about them. He doesn't care, honestly. <laughs> so yeah, so with this, Urahara made enough suppressors to give to everyone here. Well, this with the ratio being suppressed to the point where they're on the basic level of the visors, and the visors aren't, aren't really like 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 detectable at some points. Well, everyone here is saved basically by 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 Urahara's power. So yeah. Now I'm, I'm gonna go on the powers of just like I'm gonna go over what everyone here does for a while. So yeah. So basically, well, well, Urahara just as like almost wants like wants repayment in some way and makes Hard Holly Bell and Stark work for him. And Stark, Stark had, 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 had no problem had no problem doing this. So yeah. 
Um, Grimjab eventually didn't want to work for, for Stark. We wanted to train to get strong enough to beat Aizen. Aizen without, 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 without relying on boosts from some seven-year-old. So he'd he be, be in living and training, training, training with the Visards. So yeah. And th the three th the three Spada plus Nell eventually start training Ichigo after Nell being, being, being getting her mask killed by Ichigo himself because he can heal people pretty well. He has Nell's healing spit and he would use it on her and her mask being, being getting fixed because his race is a bit different than Kanonko Nell, so his healing's a, little, a lot more effective. His, his healing can completely, completely re re regenerate organs and, you know, okay, it, it, it can regenerate, regenerate multiple organs at once with just a single, just loogie, but yeah, whatever. That's kind of weird and gross, but I don't care. So yeah, so once, once Nell is back, back in full power, she eventually be turning Ichigo as well. So at least four spot of turning Ichigo. Or rogue is spotted, basically. If Rexion are told not to kill any hollows by the visors and Orohara, they're honestly just told to push them push them out of out of out of, out of Kar Kar Town. And if they come back, we leave, leave it leave it to the to, to the Shinigami. And they do just that. And actually it actually, it actually works out pretty well. And I used to realize how many is like, like with these three dead. And the Fraction like leaving at some point, he thinks that they abandoned him because they're they're spotted are dead. Lee Vin should be in training, at least told, like, Gein Tosin, like, you know, like, he told, like, he told, kind of, kind of, like, put, like, everyone in the soul society under some effects of, like, Kyoku's so basically make it seem like they're going on a long mission for a while, and he brought Gein and Tosin with him, and, uh, yeah. And with this, they're, they're in, in the Kyoku window for, like, a month and a half training every single spot as much as they can, the point where a month and a half turns into a year, but they eventually do their missions, like, they need to, to actually not cause any, like, too much, like, too much, too much collateral damage. But then again, their their squads don't have any certain like, like qualified tasks, so there's not much importance they need to do in this whole society, only in the land of living. The point where all these spotted now have new numbers. Number one is Okiora. He eventually re revealed his his, his second re re resurrection, and Aizen, Aizen liked it, so he's number one. Number two is actually Yami or Yami. Aizen eventually gave, eventually gave him enough power to actually go into like that like the giant rage form without needing like any charging up. It's just like just like oh yeah, Resurrection immediately goes into that form with, with with no difficulty. Thing is, he's still not stronger than Okiora is, but he's stronger than everyone than every other Spada. Only Spada he can't beat without without his like his like once you Spada he can't beat without without his Resurrection is like well even with a Resurrection he can't beat he can't beat Okiora because Okiora's first first Resurrection completely abolishes his Yami. And Yami has to use Re Resurrection to even be any aspect of Berrigan. So, yeah. But number three is Berrigan. He's mad that he got demoted, basically. But he's stronger than ever. And number four is Neutra. Number five is Zomari. You should probably, you should, you should, no, no, number five is probably, is probably Zizel or Sazel, whatever his name is. It's probably him. I'll give number number, number six to Zomari and number seven to Edernero. There's, there's currently seven to spot it right now. But their power is more than enough to make up for the one that left. Hell, Okiora alone can can probably beat a majority of the characters in the series by now. Like Okiora at full power right now is nearing Dongai each of the level the levels of power. Like nearing. He's not quite there yet, but he's close to it. All I'll tell you right now is that this Okiora can kill can kill Vasalore Ichigo. It'd be a hard fight, but he can do it. So yeah. Then Ichigo, by the time by the time he's fourteen years old, or fifteen years old, when he becomes Drukia, he already has his own Pakto. His own Pakto is still still Zongetsu and everything. But the thing is, even even all Zongetsu are, are really on on really good terms because Ichigo awakened awakened power for his own Pakto, and when he awakened that, he met Zongetsu because he wanted to train hard enough, and because he had inspired special inspiration because he ran hollows constantly. And Zongetsu had actually admired Ichigo, or Ichigo admired Zongetsu. And Zongetsu are on pretty good terms. Then older man Zangetsu is honestly too bad. Like he, he helps Ichigo accomplish tense of Zangetsu. Ichigo, like, Ichigo has a basic katana, but then if you were to use a Shikai, which he can use, he would have tense of Zangetsu. Well, then he, if he, he doesn't have a Bankai, but he has a multitude of, of, of Resurrection res 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 abilities. Which consists of, well, his blade can turn into a hollow arm, or his blade can turn into a hollow in general. Or his base, his main ability that he likes to use is that he can turn his sword itself into, into the hollow white that ended up that ended up attacking Masaki a few years ago. So the sword the sword confused with Ichigo, giving him his Dongai form, which he doesn't really use that use that too much. 
Um, what else? It has, it has a slash that erodes or decays everything it touches. Uh, it can create create red hollow mask soldiers. Like, basically, they're like hollow. They're like, they're like, like human-sized hollows with the red hollow mask. That's kind of what they are. Um, they can, it can also also high hide his Ryatsu and an uh, ally's Ryatsu or an enemy's Ryatsu in a barrier. Either, either for a secret fight or to hide from enemies. What else? Uh... He also also allows him to absorb to absorb, absorb a certain amount of Reiatsu. He, he, he can create, create, create duplicates of the sword that can do the same abilities as him, but only like three duplicates at the max because it takes, it takes a lot of Reishi to do these abilities. Um, he, can, he can create a carbon copy of his, of his enemies, and he can create a Voodoo doll of his enemies and then stab it over and over again with a, with a three carbon copies of his enemies or with the uh, copies of his Uzangetsu. Um, what else? He has, he has Dreamdrop Sonic Wave. Um, he has, he has, um, Berrigan Senescence, which allows him to basically age things or decay things. He has a Time Barrier, which can, which can slow down or speed up time. And he has a Rotting Mist. He can summon swords, lances, javelins, guns, axes, or create Shinigami that are holified. They're about as strong as probably, probably like probably like I would say Hiyori at the maximum though. So they're strong, but not like insanely strong. Also, using using his Reishi, he can stab his sword in the ground and create a black hole effect that can like that spans three meters. It's about probably about as strong as like, like Blackbeard's Blackbeard ability ability from One Piece. So yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, he cannot be purified. Or, or tried it on Ichigo as like an experiment, and or Ichigo was like was like wasn't sure about it, but he's like Ichigo, or I was like, all right, if we purify him, I will I will willingly go go to hell to get him for you. I promise. And Ichigo's like, you bet you better. But Ichigo cannot cannot be cannot be, be, be purified. He's simply just, just just too strong to be purified. I'm again. He can infiltrate your soul. He can breathe wind, fire, and water, and flames. I mean, he can also uh, just like create cyclones of it. He's immune to flames as well, like 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 heat based attack. Any attack that emits heat is almost ineffective on him, almost. But when it comes to, like to, like shit like shit fire based attacks, they don't work on him at all. He's simply immune to flames. Um, he can summon Hichigo. If you guys know Hichigo is, it's just it's kind of just like a nickname for Hollow for like for like for, like, for, like, like White Zangetsu or Hollow Ichigo. You can even that actually like, summon him. How how like Haribo's fraction summon um Aeon. Hollow Ichigo is basically just Ichigo's version of of Aeon, so yeah, but it comes at the cost of 15 percent of his Reishi for for the next three days. So yeah, three is a very big Ichigo right now. He can also 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 do do the Bala technique where he fires off Blood Blaster Reishi. Um. He can what else? Uh, he can spit holify. He can, he can spit venom that holifies people. He doesn't really use that ability, but he can. What else? He can absorb zeros and share reishi. He can control all so all a matter of sand. He can fuse. He can fuse with people. He can fuse with people. He can absor absorb hollows, which includes their knowledge, their memories, their their powers, well, like like bonkai and such if they have one. Uh, what else? Uh, if he stabs you, he, he, he can view your memories, but he has to stab you with his bare hand, and it has to be, like, right in your heart, too. He can't pierce your heart, but his fingertips have to be at least somewhat in your heart. <laughs> it's, a very, it's a very, very specific ability, but it, work, it works very well. You can create frog-sized hollows that can, that can, that can stick to things and explode. You can create a lot of things. Um, which includes creating limbs for himself, which can include a tail, tentacles, um, extra limbs, um, hollows... A body that makes him that makes him into his vessel vessel lorde form, which he doesn't use at all because there's no need for it. His horn of salvation form is usually what he's in. Well, his horn of salvation form is basically his base form right now, so it doesn't matter either. And then, he, then he has a tail a tail whip, ten tentacle whip. I'll pull up. All right, what else? Um, yeah, he, he can also um, stretch, um, stretch 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 his limbs, and he, he can also grow fur, which he does not like doing. He doesn't like that at all. <laughs> I was, I was holding a sneeze, and when it came out, that shit hurt so bad. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, he also has the Lunar Ichigo form. If you guys don't know what that is, Google it. It's, it's pretty cool. <laughs> but, yeah. This is her ability. 
I would say his durability is actually, actually, actually very similar to Gerard Valkyrie. Like, insanely similar to that. Like, Gerard is a giant-ass tank. Like, I'm, I'm, talking, I'm talking about Gerard that, like... I'm talking about, like, probably, like, like, like the Gerard that Byakuya had to train with the Zero Division for to even pierce his head. It's just, like, that durable. <laughs> so he's insanely, he's insanely durable, but then he also, he also has Hero or Iron Skin... So, that makes him actually literally impenetrable now. So, yeah. He can fly. He can walk on air. He has wings. Maybe, well, if he wants to summon wings, he can create wings, which just enhances flying speed. He can sense, sense Reishi to the point where he, where he can sense, like, sense, sense even even if you have a Shikai or Bankai or not. Like, oh yeah, you have a lot of Reishi. You have, you have as much Reishi as a captain. But you're, you're, you're useless bastard when we climb in a Shikai. Or he can just stare at Yamamoto expressing his power to the point where he's probably as strong as like a lieutenant with how strong how much he's expressing himself. Ichijo says, "Oh, the Bankai, a really strong one at that." Like, Ichijo is very, very good, at, very good when it comes to sensing Reishi. Yeah. Uh, hold up. Uh, what else? Uh, his strength. He can lift. He can lift four point one billion tons pretty easily, and that's like his max limit so far. He's also a master of Hakuda because Yoruichi also trains him. Then he has then, then he has Sonido, which he learned from Grimjow, but then Yoruichi also trains him alongside the other the other four other remaining three Espada, four former Espada. So his speed is also greatly enhanced. Uh, his, he's one point five one well, point five thousand times faster than light, without even trying. So yeah. Um, he has a perfect relationship with both Zangetsu's, giving him a tense as Zangetsu Shikai. His, his his regeneration is basically limitless as long as he has at least five five like 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 five like five like five like five percent of his body left. Hell, if, if if only his arm is left, he can still he can still re re regenerate from that. So yeah, he has to have, have at least one limb left to completely regenerate. Like, you have to turn his body to like to, like mush for him to be dead. <laughs> And then again, the only person that can, like, try, probably, probably the only person that, that, can, that, can, that can turn to mush is Yamamoto, but he's immune to Yamamoto's flames, so it wouldn't matter. Yeah, not many people can do anything to Ichigo besides, like, Ichibe. That's about it. Like, Ichibe and Oetsu. Those are, like, the only two. Like, just literally, literally just them can turn him to mush, and I think, think that'd be the hardest thing that they'd ever do in their life. And there's Hulking and Yuobok, too, but that's about it. Yeah, he has acid touch, which basically make, make, makes his touch about as hard as like burning as acid is. He can also spit acid. Um, he can also also spit glue. He he, he can create cannons cannons that fire reishi. Uh, he can spit a glue like substance that can that ends up end up reducing your reishi. Not your reishi, I mean reduces friction on the ground. So if you're using like oh shampoo at me, spit it on the ground and you you will you will you will slip very far away. So yeah, he can also 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 spit on you and heal you completely. The point where here he can heal your soul. A lot of spit based abilities for Ichigo. A lot of them. Some girls will love him. All right, he can also forcefully tear your soul out, tear, tear your soul from your body, or from your gigai because he wouldn't use it on a human. He'd probably he'd probably 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 tear your soul from your gigai to make you a Shinigami all over again. Or he can tear, tear, tear yourself from the hollow to purify you. So, yeah. I think it's a version of purify, purification. Like, if a hollow, if a hollow is, like, honestly insanely weak, he won't bother even, like, like hitting it. He'll also, he'll also grab, it, grab it by the mask and extract the soul from the inside of it and purify it. And, like, his version of purifying is just tearing the soul out of it. Yeah. He can create portals to, like, a window in the soul society, but he doesn't, doesn't do that because he's warned not to do it when he listens. He can also also have, also have an ability where he's, where he's a, a, able to use shadows as portals as well, where he's found found the Wandenreich. But where he was inside the Wandenreich, he didn't find any of the Sternmitter at all. He's been there, he just doesn't know anything about it. So yeah. Um, he has a Grand Race Arrow, a Sarrow, Bala, which is just like the hard, the hardened Reishi that they, they can fire. Kumon, or a portal. Um... Negacion, which is basically just a square beam that they that that, that that you can use to protect your allies and help them float away. And he can also combine his arrow with other people's arrows. By the time Ichigo's 15, though, 
He's already already six foot eight at fifteen. Be the fact that all hollows are insanely big, whether they be a spotter or actual full like full fledged hollows. And Solomast doesn't have one. It's honestly just a horn with like plus plus he has plus he has a red red marking going on his body. X tattoos all over his body as well, which he didn't make those. They're honestly just there because of his um because of his powers. And one of his eyes is black. Is black with a yellow iris. And for his personality, it's very chaotic, but also decently nihilistic. Like, he, he's very lonely in the world because of, because no one, you know, like, not lonely. He's bored, constantly, because no one can, can compare to his power, and they make fights boring. Even Urahara make, makes them boring. He's a genius tactician, strategist, and, wep and weapons master, which includes even guns. So, yeah. But eventually, when, like, like Rukia appears in, like, the, like, the Soul Society, Fraction will do save her, and she thinks, like, oh, yeah, they're a wrong car. I, they, I, I, I don't understand the chance. But they're both, uh, they're, they're actually run away a wrong car that are actually serving un, 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 under, like, Action and Gami that are hiding out here. And their job is honestly to just, 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 just push back hollows or leak them enough to the point where, where, where Shin Gami can, can come and purify them without them being around. Well, it's just shock Rukia. Like, 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 the Fraction, and, like, I'll, I'll, I'll give, like, like powers for, for all the Ichigo's friends. Chad, you can, you, we, can, we can just put his power pretty early. Ichigo, Ichigo constantly emits a flow of Reishi. Chad had got, got, like, his power a month after meeting him. <laughs> so, at this point, Chad already has both arms that are, like, oh, yeah. He has Gigante and he has Diablo. He already has both of those on a pretty insane scale. Or Hime, her power was early as well. She awakened them around a year after Ichigo got his powers. So, she got hers when she, when she was eight. And, uh, yeah, she's also, also, also trained by Harry Bell while Chad is trained by Stark. And then Uryu. Honestly, he, it's not that he doesn't like Ichigo, he's, like, creeped out by him. But then started to like him, which Ichigo made it so that Hulls, Hulls aren't poisonous to him at all. Like, Ichigo's like, hey, if, you're weak, if, poisonous, if Hulls are poisonous to you, you go. And made it, made it, made, it, made Uryu, well, kind of gave him an anti antibodies to hollow, Hollows. One upside though is that anytime he gets injured by, by a hollow specifically, his body his body ends up completely healing it immediately. So he can he can completely just fully regenerate from hollow based attacks. Like no matter who the hollow is, he he will he will completely regenerate from the attack. Even if he turned to ash, his body will, will completely regrow from said attack. He's immune to hollow or he's invulnerable to hollow based attacks because he, he instantaneously, instantaneously heals from it. So it's a it's a, it's, a, it's a pretty strong ability, despite it being being very limited. So yeah, and Urahara trains him as well. Urahara and Tessai train him. A uh, Grimjow, he's probably as strong as he's in the, in the, in the, in the, the Thessian Blood War by now, so pretty strong. Holly Bell, she achieved a second Resurrection, making her stronger than Okiora is now. If she's turned, in terms of power, I'd, I'd, pro I'd probably say like, not as strong as Yamamoto, but she's approaching it. She's like approaching Yamamoto level. Stark, he's exactly as strong as as, as Yamamoto is if, if he were to, to fuse with Lynette. Like, he'd be as strong as, as like, Bangai Yamamoto. <laughs> well, he'd probably be stronger than that. So, and he trains a lot more people because his attitude toward training is a bit more fun. So he trains the large group, being Yuzu, Karin, Jinta, Urdudu, and who often teach occasionally happen to be Neliel and Hot and Holly Bell. Well, well, for Nell, I'll go over how Ichigo fully healed her, making her her full adult form. Ichigo kind of technically killed her Dononchaka and and Pesk or Peshe, and then he, then he kind of kind of remade them with their memories intact. Well, he really made Nellie stronger than ever, and then gave her a boost. So yeah, and then Fraction, they all reached a level of I would say like nearly as strong as Thousand of Blood or Kamara, nearly as strong as him. So. They're all, they're all insanely strong as well. And Rukia, she trains with Ichigo. So he actually helps her train a lot as he's an insanely insane. Like he, Ichigo's attire is literally like kind of like a, like, like a black school, like a black like like kind of like dress jacket that the, like the school gives the school schools give you for like a uniform. So yeah, oh, hold up. Uh, Ichigo's outfit is, is very similar to this one right here, but rolled up sleeves. Uh, Ichigo, Ichigo, doesn't, Ichigo doesn't really have like a sort of her outfit, and if he wants one on, he'll he'll create it. So yeah. And his sword outfit is very similar, very similar to his two thousand year to his thousand year blood war outfit. So yeah, everyone here is nearly strong as someone in the thousand year blood war, or they're they're stronger than them. 
So, yeah. Well, so short, everyone here is about as strong as the captain is, or approaching captain. When people approaching captain are Stark and, not Stark, or Orihime and Chad, just those two. Also, Stark's students, I guess, but you know, they're not really students, more or less. Or they're not really supposed to, they're not fighters, they're more or less just people that are here. So, yeah. But we'll go forward all over again, I'd say the next part being just, well, Renji and Byakuya coming for Rukia. But when they do, who they're met by Shinji and Stark. And Stark ends up revealing that he's a former Espada. And immediately already for a fight, but he says he says he says he escaped with the mundo, just the fact that he didn't like he didn't like like how how it was ran. But he's not, he's not like he's not trying to cause chaos or too much chaos. But say that a Shinigami made a pact with the Espada. He's not saying that Shinigami is because it creates too, too much of an uproar. But he does ask ask that they, they keep an eye out eye out for all captains. And Stark ends up turning away before saying, also, Rukia isn't just nearly achieving Bankai. Please train her when she when when you bring her back. And if they hear that, they would they, they would obey the rules. And Imamoto is told about, 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 about Stark and everything. But he doesn't tell any other captain because it would create an uproar. <laughs> so yeah. But eventually around the time of the, the chronicle beginning of like the, the Soul Society arc, Ichigo would arrive in Soul Society. But because of his power jumbling hollows, plus he brings a few former spotter with him, it still ends in a giant fight against the Seirite. I'll go over all the fights. <laughs> Hold up, let me make a list of all the fights. Uh, pause. Now, um, this arc really does levels of Ichigo's power if you were to go all out, because he fights a total of three divisions all at once, including the 1st, the 11th, and the 6th. The reason he fights the first is because, well, Yamamoto has to attack Ichigo, but he sends Ichigo's one one power, so he brings his whole division. And they're attacking Ichigo with the fact that his Reishi is similar to a Hollows, plus he brings the he brings a few Hollows, which include the Fraction, former Espada, and the Visards. There's a Shinigami with them being a rogue Shinigami, but yeah, or banished Shinigami. So yeah, so the first division attacks Ichigo because, well, he's strong. Second division attacks because Ichigo's after Rukia. And 11th division attacks because they were there, they were meeting with the first. Or Kenpachi was, but then Ikaku and Yumichiko were following him in secret. Then Yumichiko fetched the whole division. So, so when it came to Yumichiko versus the whole, not, not Yumichiko. It came to Ichigo versus the whole, the whole sixth division, though. From the start, immediately, Yakuya had used Bankai and Ichigo. Only for Ichigo to simply just shrug it off. Like it was nothing. Like, Ichigo, Ichigo just uses a Grand Racera and blows apart, and blows, like, like, like just, just destroys half of Yakuya's on Pato. Yakuya just throws at that, only get punched in the gut, and now it's in a fight right then and there. And Renji and the rest of the division attack Ichigo, only only from the use on Extreme, and the whole division is just, just down for the count immediately. Yamamoto immediately tries to use his Bankai and Ichigo. Ichigo since it's good as good as it was going to kill Yamamoto, and it just simply just end up taking his on Pato in half. Which is shocking everything that Yamamoto's Bankai, of all things, got broken. Before Yamamoto knew it, Ichigo actually mentioned that he's immune to all fire-based attacks, because he can use fire-based attacks as well that are as hot as Yamamoto's, if not hotter. Then she shocked Yamamoto, Ichigo summoned a whole giant, like, a whole, like, wrist, like, arsenal of javelins, and shoved a multitude of them through Yamamoto, pinning him to the ground. Two, two in both shoulders, three in his arms, three in his legs, and two in his feet. Yamamoto has been to the ground for a long time. You can't get out of these. Kimachi when Ichigo going all out from the start. What if Ichigo got him like, grabbed by the face and began burning it severely using his acid touch? He let Kimachi go and, and kick them across the Soul Society. Kakaku wouldn't immediately went to Ishikai, though. And hit Ichigo across the face with it, only to have his... Well, only look at his unplugged toe that's bent in half now. Ichigo, with his horn shot blast, cleaned through Kakaku's chest and killed it immediately using spit. Then you just kick the Kaku right at Kenpachi, who jumped back up, just get knocked out again. And then came to the rest of the division, Ichigo just ended up, he ended up using just uh, a giant, giant, like a giant cyclone of wind, of wind, earth, not wind, earth, wind, fire, and water. Pointing was just a giant thing of just, of just very, very hot mist. And then when I wrapped up into it, it just turned to steam and began burning them pretty badly. You mean the cyclone explode? Yeah, they have something flying across, across the area today. And that's how Ichigo beat three whole divisions by himself. So, yeah. Oh, what else? 
But yeah, so Stark versus Stark and Lisa versus the Eighth Division, which is Shunsu's division currently. Shunsu will be in there fight, fighting Stark. Well, well, Lisa fought the whole division. But with how strong Stark is right now, Shunsu even using Bankai is helpless. So yeah, like Stark is doing as strong as Bankai Ichigo right now. He's an, He's beating, beating Shunsui definitely. Shunsui lost horribly. But then Lisa beat the whole division with how strong she is currently, and her and her and her and her and Shunsui have like not her Shunsui, her and Stark have like an on and off fling going on. So yeah. Plus she's pretty strong because all the training she does. So that's even that's even better. Holly Bell versus versus the tenth division, because I want I want Holly Bell Holly Bell versus Toshio to happen. Versus it was like Ron Giku attacking attacking Holly Bell because Holly Bell was like off like watching Ichigo fight the divisions. But Holly Bell pretty easily just one tapped Ron Giku using one hand and it was just a simple slap into the ground. Toshiro saw that, but Ron Giku even trying to go all out from the start. But when it came to Toshiro versus 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 like Holly Bell, he's like, huh, you're a spotter, right? You you use your you use your your resolution, or my bankai may kill you. Holly Bell says she doesn't need to use her bankai on anyone besides Ichigo and Stark. Or it's not, bro. Only people she needs to use her about her rescue shield on are people that are attacking are attacking right now. Other than that, no one's ever pushed her before. And she proceeds to beat the living mess out of Toshio without even, without even grabbing her sword. She literally punched the shit out of him. Now it's the end of the fight with him in there. So yeah. You know, Toshio says like Bonkai already. And Holly Bell, she just used her bare fists. That was it. A bit of like Keto, which I, I assume she can use Keto as well because they, they all have Reishi. Keto has Reishi based techniques. <laughs> so yeah. Then we have Urohara and Yorushi versus the whole second division because Urohara was there watching to make sure that the, 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 the visors and everyone else don't get out of hand. They also double, like him and him and Yorushi double as like the handlers for, for Grimjow. So, yeah. Well, the visors and these two double as Grimjow's handlers because Grimjow's insane, basically. So, yeah. But yeah, eventually, eventually so we saw them both. Wanted to fight Yoruichi, while the rest of the division attacks Urahara, but he be, he beat all of them with a simple Keto Blast, and that was the end of the fight right then and there. Well, then, well, then Yoruichi just beat, just beat the dog shit of Soi Fon with her bare hands. So, yeah. And Grimjow fought the whole third th th division, which is Gin's division. Gin, the calm, the calm, the calm, and, 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 and calculated, calculated, calculated snake. Well, then we have Grimjow, the very, the very violent, violent panther. And Gin doesn't even, like, pushes him to use Resurrection Re 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 but Gin lasted five seconds against Resurrection Re 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 Grimjow before being knocked unconscious. And then after that, Grimjow beat up Gin's whole division. So, yeah. Like, 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 the most of this, like, watching as the Espada are clearing out divisions one by, like, one, by one on their own. All the people, people that had, like, double team so far are Shark and Lisa... Sark just beat just, just beat Shunsui without, without even going all out at all, and then Lisa beat a whole division by herself because Stark was Stark, Stark Stark was occupied for a whole two minutes. <laughs> uh, Holly Bell beat a whole beat a, beat a whole division with just a simple keto blast, and then just one shot a cap not one shot, but she beat a captain with her bare hands, and I've been I've touching her on pot toe, and one shot a lieutenant with one hand. Grimjow just soloed a whole division. Yeah, the next fight is, is Neliel versus Unohana and Isane. And like, no, like Neliel is just like kind of watching Holly Bell. And then Unohana reveals, reveals her presence. And Neliel is like, oh, if you guys want, if you guys want to fight, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to mention fighting. I'm on, 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 honestly just going to check on her friend, but because we're hollows, they wanted to fight. And Unohana's like, yeah, I get that. We don't want to fight either, but we have to do our jobs. And then Neliel says, she'll be, she'll be nice and spare, spare, the, spare the, the division. They can have a straight-up straight fight in the air, and she'll fight her and her lieutenant. And Unhana agrees to that. So in the air, well, no, no, Neliel fights them both and beat them both pretty bad, pretty easily. It was, a, it was a pretty easy fight for her. She even, like, she even, even, even touches on, like, Unohana was on the verge of using Bonkai because of how strong Neliel was, but no, but no, 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 no knocking her out before she did it. Then it's Shinji, Tessai, and Hachi versus Aizen. Shinji's a lot stronger than before now, to the point where even his whole mask isn't even a full thing anymore. It's just around his eye. But as he still fights against Aizen, he's still not strong enough to beat him. But Aizen isn't actually impressed how strong Shinji is. Shinji even landed a blow on Aizen that, and that made him draw blood. And it was a very strong blow. Like, Aizen was almost gutted by Shinji. <laughs> but eventually, Aizen decided to get excited and like, kind of flex his special pressure using the, 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 the Hogoku. Hogoku. And beat all three of them, even though he's pretty badly injured still. 
His injury eventually healed, though, but he shocked that Shinji was, was, was able to do that to him at, right, right now. Shinji, of all people. So, yeah. Then we have Emilo, or Emilo, like the one of the one of the fraction for Harley Bell. Mila Rose and Sung Sun. Sung Sun is, I believe, the snake girl. Mila Rose is the black girl, and Emma Lou is like like the girl has a, has like the fur and everything for her ability. I think like the whole seventh division, which belongs to I believe Komamura, so yeah. So the, like, the, like I'm pretty sure I said it before, like they're like individually they're all are all about as strong as like. They're approaching. They're approaching humanized Kampachi, or not humanized. They're not. They're, they're approaching human form Komura. They're approaching that level of power. Approaching it. They're not there yet, but they're stronger than, than current Bankai Kokomura, which is saying something. Plus, right now he's still wearing an armor thing, so his, so his personality and emo, and mental state is still pretty shit. You know, there's something like right now. Someone punched him in the chest, breaking breaking all his armor. Then Apache went into, into her, went into her like, Rizzo Chiyon began beating up you know, Komura pretty easily. The fight was over. Then they proceeded to solo his whole division. So, yeah. And we have, we have Dodonchaka and Peske, or Peshe, versus Tozen and Shunsui, not Shunsui, Tozen and Shuhei. Now, individually, they're probably about as strong as current Bankai Tozen. And Tozen would even, like, even trapped Peske in the Bankai. The best kind of realize something was up, and it's actually a technique he's been working on. A Grand Racero. He doesn't know Espada, but he can use it. While at the cost of using up 98%, 98% of his current Reishi and passing out for like, for like 8 hours. So yeah. Well, this, this he'd be charging up Grand Racero, without like, not, not realizing it. But he had a feeling when it was charged. That feeling was, feeling was, was nearly right. It was around 80 or so percent of the way charged and would use it. Before, before Tosin knew it, the whole building is blown apart, and Tozen has his hand pretty wounded to the point where he can't even hold a sword. Pesky ran before actually before hitting him with a sarah right in the chest, and that was the last of Pesky's energy as he would have passed out. While Dodon Chaka is sitting sitting on, on Shuhei, who Shuhei's already beaten up. But Dodon Chaka kinda kinda got lucky and beat Tozen. So yeah. Honestly, because Tozen was honestly surprised at every single turn and was underestimating him constantly. So yeah. Their division, though. Don Chaka didn't have an interest in fighting a large herd of people and just ran, just ran away holding Pesque. But, but ran the pause and Shuhei and Shuhei realized that these guys are actually not wanting to fight. They're, they're, they're just fighting because Yamamoto fought them first. Like, because Yamamoto was anxious about Hollows and Espada being the society, he causes a war that they're losing. <laughs> We're a war where kind of like, a, kind of like, kind of like, like basically, basically the only person that's, that's getting pressured is Pesque right now. Only him. <laughs> So yeah, Grimjow got excited and used and used Resurrect Shion even though he didn't need, didn't need to. Even though it was like, like if Gein used like the whole like, explosion thing that he used on Aizen, well, it, w- it wouldn't have killed Grimjow; would have severely injured him. But still, it would have been a fight. But yeah, now we have Ryu and Chad versus the whole 12th division. Chad about is about about as strong as I would say probably Ed or Nato right now. And Uri's a bit stronger than that. At, I'm talking about like 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 the canonical Air Nero, not like not, not like the new Air Nero. But Uri, he's probably about as strong as probably with him being trained constantly by by Urahara and occasionally Stark. I'd put him at maybe about as strong as Sazel. So yeah. When this one came to Chad and, Chad and, and or, or you versus Division, the next struggle will come in as these two beat the whole division. But then May Aries Bankai also pushes them to their limit as they, they have like kind of a draw, no no clear win. And we have Orihime and Rukia versus Ukutake. But Orihime revealed that they don't want to fight and she reveals the whole thing why they're here. They're actually just here, here, to, here to see if, if Rukia achieved a Bankai yet. That's all the only reason they're here. <laughs> they brought friends because they brought the friends, the friends they brought all helped train Rukia. Ukutake is like, oh, oh, you're you're a human, not not like a fraction or a spada. You're you're genuinely human, and Rukia is, is your is your like your allies. Oh shit! It wasn't even a fight. It was just a a three minute argument that Ukutake lost. <laughs> but eventually he will he approached, but kind of like gathered all the captains in the division, like gathered everyone, saying, "All right, only thing I think like, the whole reason why that way everyone's here." And real that the soldiers were, were the ones that are wrong. The, the hollows and everything, everyone here are not here for a fight. Even though like Ichigo is half Shinigami, half hollow, and half human. Not half, not half and half, but he's like uh, Ichigo happens to be mixed of a human, a hollow, and a Shinigami. So he's one of us. 
and then reveals that you know Stark is Stark is a is a runaway Espada. Hi, Bell. We're not running a spotter. Uhara, Uhara, and Yoruichi cleared a crime snap because Eisen betrayed us mid war. Um, Grim Jow, former spotter, run away. Nellyo betrayed its spotter, so she went, she, went, she went to our side. Then it just says, yeah, Shinji, Tessai, Hachi, excuse their crimes. Fraction of Holly Bell, Fraction of Nellyo, Ryu and Chad. Allies at Ichigo, and then Rukia, my lieutenant, or Hime, ally of Ichigo. And with this, everyone realizes how wrong they were in the fight, but Ichigo wasn't still looking strong, strong, strong to beat Yamamoto and come out unscathed, so, yeah. But Ichigo should have digitally healed Yamamoto by just using spit, which was shock, which kind of confused Unohana. Remember, Ichigo and Nelio feel like they both can do it. But immediately, Unohana and Mary fed them pills that can do the, that can make themselves like like salivate a lot. And to the point where Ichigo and and, and Elio fill up, fill up buckets of spit, like three or four buckets each. And that spit is now used to do a lot of healing, form form just just different kind kind of reishi. So yeah. Now eventually, every single current Espada reveal is 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 like like something. Oh yeah, the fraction of the three Espada are now uh, on side of the Shinigami. And the three Spada are now on the side of the Shinigami. And then Nelliel is also with them. And she's probably about as strong as maybe, maybe, maybe Gin and Tosin here. Going all out. So yeah. With this, they all hear about how strong everyone else is now. Now with this, I'm going to go over the next fight for the Aronkar arc. Okay, so for the fights, so there's honestly no fights versus like 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 Karakura Kara, Kara Town. The fact that no one no one here would do that besides Grim Jow, and Grim Jow was on the side of the humans, or Shinigami. And when it comes to like Amundo, Grim Jow already knows that he'd win even when they decided to wage war. So there's no need to wait, wait. There's no need to like ed, like like quickly get a victory already. So he's he's he's, he's just gonna wait a bit. <laughs> so yeah, at the best. At the best, we'd have like 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 Zael and Erdinero come to like, investigate the land of living for a bit, a bit like a spot of number four and a spot of number number six. So yeah, or spot of spot of number number five and a spot of n- n- number six, number six come visit for a second or two. That's about it. Because I, 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 I said four when when four currently is no, is Noitra and five is Sazel in this in this AU. So. Yeah. But yeah, so the ones that, that that go attack him happen to be Emma Lu, Mila Rose, Sung Sun, Chad, Don Chaka, and they have to fight against Cecil and Eronero. At the best, they they, they do they do pretty bad dam- pretty bad damage to both, but they all lose to these two. <laughs> you guys are wondering, the three fraction of Holly Bell are actually hanging out in the park, and Chad and Don Chaka tra- train 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 together for a bit. So yeah. No track up is really durable, and Chad needs to enhance the horse the horse of his punches. So, these two train together pretty well. But eventually, this does lead up to attack to an attack on like like on like on like Kueko Mundo, and Yamamoto lends a few captains. So, yeah. The fight against in Okiora happens to be Shinji and Grimjow. Shinji wants wants to see if Okiora can give up any info on on Aizen. Well, Shinji wants to see if Okiora can give up any info on Aizen. And Gumjo just wants just wants just wants to kill number one, being Okiora. But eventually they are both completely overwhelmed by actually a third Res- Res- Resurrection version of Okiora, which happens to resemble Ion. But if he is part of like, imagine like a fusion of Ion and, o- and Okiora, but with like Ion and Okiora fused together, but at Okiora's height, and that is kind of what third but third Res- Res- Resurrection Okiora looks like. They need to do a kind of mop Shinji and Gumjo. But Stark intervened, now being exactly an equal to Dongai Ichigo, and just honestly one tapped Okiora and then walked away. And now it's the end of the fight right then and there. And Stark was in a first resurrection out of his three, like Oki like Okiora. Well, third one resembles him if you guys have seen the um the the Hoge, Hoge Yoku arc for Stark. So yeah. But yeah, Stark was was was, was going to obliterate Okiora either way. Kenpachi, Chad, and Renji versus Yami. Yami is number two, but also in full control of his power and also has really advanced techniques of all his abilities. When it comes to physical strength, 
that, 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 where Chad came in as physically he's currently specific in Pachi as an equal to Yami. Pachi took down a lot of a lot of a lot of weak points while Chad began hurling hurling around Yami for a bit. When eventually Renji had used his abilities to actually will take advantage of Kenpachi's wounds that he gave Yami, and with this Renji began wrapping his sword around the open wounds, pulled in and split Yami's body into pieces. And his body cannot regenerate from those, from those pieces with the help of Chad's abilities, which completely just turned every ounce of Yami to ash. So yeah. Or just sand, if you want to say that, because there's sand around, around, all around like a window. So, yeah. Yoroichi, Tessai, and Soifon versus Berrigan. Yoroichi and, and, and Tessai were going to handle it themselves, but Soifon joined in. This fight kind of goes very similar to, like, like Soifon versus Berrigan in canon, but there's two Soifons and one and, and one advanced Hachi. But Tessai himself is about as strong as a basic captain, I'd say, still. So, when it came to him versus, like, a oh, Weshi, I'd say stronger than a captain, actually, I'd say... Hey, people underestimate Tessai because he has no feats. I mean, he was the head of the Keto Corps, and Hachi was his, like... Hachi is Tessai's number two. Compare all, all number twos to, to the captain. Uh, first up, Yamamoto, Yamamoto and Chojiro. I mean, Yamamoto is superior to almost every captain, and Chojiro is a Bankai wielder. Even if he gave him charge to Yamamoto, Yamamoto calls Chojiro's Bankai weak when wielded by a stern wielder of all people. Sin strong. <laughs> Like, he, like, like, Momoto tanked, tanked, tanked Chojo's Bankai. That's an old man. Then, um, second division, what, what's that, uh, fucking Soifon and, 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 and Omida. Huge difference. Third division, Gein and, I don't care about his, his, his lieutenant. Fourth division, uh, fuck, who's that? Hmm. Fourth division... I feel like they have it, but 5th Division is Aizen and Momo, so that's a huge difference. 6th Division is Byakuya and Renji, huge difference, but by the Thousand Blood War, still a huge difference. 7th Division, I believe, would be Komomura and Iba. 8th Division, no one cares. 9th Division, Tosin and Shuhei. There's a difference, but then there's not a difference, and Kensai is, K K Kensai is also not strong either. Those and Kensei are kind of like, basically, they're basically just fodder, even though they're captains. So the same thing for their lieutenants. Shuhei is just, 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 is honestly just afraid of his own bankai, or never had a chance to show it off, quote unquote. Um, tenth division is Toshiro and Rangiku. Huge difference. Eleventh division, um, Kenpachi and Ikaku, or, or yeah, maybe basically Ikaku. Huge difference. Uh, 12th Division, Mayuri and Akon. Huge difference. You guys are shocked this is not Nemu, don't be. Nem Nemu is his, his daughter. There's, there's no chance she'd be his vice captain. <laughs> and 13th Division, uh, Ukutake and, and Rukia. Huge difference. There's a lot of differences com comparing the, uh, yeah, Shunsui and, uh, what else? Shunsui and... And Lisa, I guess, when to say that, or Shunsui and Nanao, huge difference. I mean, Nanao cannot use a sword either. That is something huge as well. That is, there's a lot of huge differences for this. So, yeah. It's just imagine how the, the gap between Tessai and Hachi from all those references. Tessai is honestly kind of bodying, bodying up a decent amount of the spot, in my opinion. I would say probably at least. If we were to max out Tessai's power, I would say he's probably top four spotted in canon. I'm just like maxing him out, like hotballing him, him having the possibility on Bankai. But he doesn't use it on Pakai, so who cares? So Tessai, Yuruchi, Soifon versus Berrigan, they mop him pretty easily with Tessai's help. Soifon was kind of kind of kind of baggage, honestly, because her Shunko was was ass compared to compared to like Yuruichi. <laughs> um Nell and Pesh, or yeah, Pesh versus Noitra and Te and Tesra. Pesh pretty easily got got got, 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 got to Tesra in like three minutes, so yeah. Um, then, 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 so yeah, and Akon is actually, actually just pretty decent work, as I assume, I assume because he's a lieutenant, he'd have a Shikai, 
Hussey used to be a prisoner, just like Mayuri. All prisoners are also insanely strong from the ones from the ones that we've met. Azashiro, Aizen, Mayuri, um, or however was a prisoner, he was a guard. Akon, I assume they'd all be insanely strong because of just what they're in prison for. But Akon is pretty decently strong, and with this, well, him and Mayuri and Uryu together are actually pretty much a dream team and 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 just just, just destroy Sail or Zael, whatever his name is. Byakuya versus Omari. Zoro is a bit stronger than Canon, sure. Byakuya, Byakuya already had to read, already had to do his Zero Division training because Ichigo broke his Zanpak toe. Yamagami yeah, mostly did it too. Ichigo broke his Zanpak toe. Yeah, Byakuya's as strong as he's in the Thousand Blood War. There's no chance that Zomari gets close to him. Like, like Byakuya stared him down, and honestly, presence alone, he killed him. Presence alone, he killed an Espada. <laughs> That's how cold Byaki is right now. Yeah, each year each is just gonna okay, kind of try, try to find Aizen right now. Aizen's, Aizen's hiding his presence. Each year found Loopy and Loopy attacked him. Each year kind of, kind, of grabbed, kind of grabbed Loopy by the head and just tore tore Loopy's head off and threw it to the ground and walked walked past him. Loopy is, is like is like is like the, is like like their their new number forty eight. <laughs> so yeah, Komura versus Tosen. Komura's a bit stronger is uh, stronger as well because well well. Emma Lu, Mila Rose, Sung Sung, Sung Sun. They all encourage Komura to train with them because they're all pretty strong. Komura's pretty close to them as well. And they should say that, you know, Ion is a pretty good guy, and plus they can calm him down if he goes too far. Komura can also constantly train with someone who's probably stronger than most captains, or can get stronger than most captains. Komura would accept this deal. And by the time Komura has to fight Tosin, Komura doesn't even need a Shikai to beat Tosin right now. Tosin's going all out using every effort he, effort he has. Komura doesn't even pour in his Shikai effort and just straight up just bodies Tosin by, by himself without even using, using humanification. Komura is honestly just that strong now. Like, this, this Tosin, this Tosin, I mean, this Komura, if you were to use Shikai, he's comparable to, human, to humanification Komura in the Thousand Blood War. On, only Shikai, he's that close to it. So Komura pretty, pretty, easily, easily up, pretty easily bodies up Tosin. <laughs> so yeah. I was going to use Bonkai, Komura just appeared in front of him and just, just tore him in half. Like, Kom Komura killed him, straight up. Gein, Gein versus Grimjow happens again, because Grimjow has another fight to do, because Stark interrupted and killed Okiora. <laughs> Gein versus Grimjow happens, but then Gein reveals that he's actually a traitor, and wants to kill Aizen himself for hurting his, hurting his, for hurting Rangiku when they were younger. Grimjow, due to having a... This is going to sound really weird, I know. This is caring and having a relationship with a lot of kids, being Yuzu, Karin, U Ududu, Jinta, Ichigo... He understands Gein, Gein and where he's coming from, especially if he's known Rangiku that long. He tells Gein that he's, he's lucky that, 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 Grimjow, that Grimjow knows the feeling. So he's, he's, he's gonna, gonna help Gein kill Aizen. But these, these two know where Aizen is, or Gein did, so these together go fight him, and they both lose pretty horribly. So, yeah. But still, Aizen's impressed with how strong Grimjow has been, same for Aizen. But now we have, we have, have Shaolong versus Hiori and Orihime because they're coming in. But yeah, but Shaolong also isn't too strong for Orihime even, so. Which is like, he's strong. Orihime is like exactly a spot in number 12 level now. But then she has Hiori as well, Hiori with her as well, so they end up killing, killing Sha Shaolong. Wonder Weiss is here as well, who fights, who tries to fight Yamamoto, but Shun Sui intervened, and then she then, 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 Bankai and killed him. But then we have. Ichigo, Gin, Yamamoto, Grimjow, Holly Bell, Toshiro, Ishin, and Shinji versus Aizen. And with this, this group would fight him. Even Stark is fighting him as well. And with everyone being intensely strong, with Ichigo being currently in in his like, Grim, Ichigo's kind of like using like like, like from like his hollow, hollow horn kind of qualifies as like a hollow mask for him right now. So he eventually like he's also angry at Aizen as Aizen really planned his whole life, which even means he planned his mother's death. Once he reveals Hollow White to Ichigo and everything, Ichigo's like, oh yeah, I, I, know, I, know, about, I know about like Hollow White, I can use him as well, so like, it's like a battle thing, but I, I, hate, I hate that I that I can do that. But Ichigo has an ability that also allows him to grow with rage, like he grows in size like Ion with every ounce of rage he gets. Ichigo's like, it's like, it's, Ichigo's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, 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 like fucking 15 feet tall now, hulking out, trying to fight Aizen. And currently he's almost as strong as... As final, 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 gets a potential, but he's going, he's going, going berserk, so that's taking off a few points because he's getting sloppy. Gain, honestly, not much different. Grimjow, probably as strong as like 
He's a bit weak until he's pretty beaten up, so never mind that. Hollywell didn't really fight anyone here. She's kind of just right here right now. In terms of power, I'd probably, I'd probably, I'd probably probably put her at like nearing Dongai Ichigo. Same for Stark. Well, Stark is actually equal to Dongai Ichigo. Toshiro is probably about as strong as he's in the Thousand of Little War because, well, you almost embarrassed that after the loss that they took. So, and like, you embarrassed at the loss that they took in the Total Society arc. Everyone's been training a lot harder. Toshiro is about as strong as he's in Thousand of Little War. He's not as strong as like, in his adult form, but he's about as strong as he is in his holified Bankai. Ishin's here, and Ishin honestly is much different. Ishin, Ishin trains a bit, but eh. And Shinji, at this point, even has a a resurrection. But he, when he kind of kind of modified it with help, help or Ohara at the point where his Bankai is not completely like 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 he can control what it does now. And he uses it on ice, and when he's like he's inverted world, and he said Bankai turned to ice into their side, but made ice stand still and not do anything else else to them as they all use combined attacks and just hit ice with every ounce of power that they they can muster. During this, they eventually are actually, are actually able, able to beat Aizen. So, yeah. With this, with Aizen defeated, they eventually have him, have him put, like, 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 the lowest level, I guess, of, of quote-unquote, hell. So, yeah. But Ishida eventually, eventually mentioned, mentioned that whole shutter on place he has, the Wandenreich. And he also told him, never go there again. Never. That, that place is worse than hell. That's right. This is where, like, 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 like he has explained the whole thousand of the, like, not thousand of Little War. He's explained the well, thousand two hundred years ago of, oh, yes, this would be the thousand of Little War, technically. He just he explains the whole thing, and it tells Ichigo that he's a little problem base, a problem base, basically God himself. And Ichigo just froze, saying he's been there multiple times just to explore. And Yamamoto says, Ichigo, you may, you may have screwed us. You may have, have just screwed us all. You are our only hope, and you still don't go all out because you're nervous that they may hurt someone. <laughs> because each of those whole thing, she has a vast variety of abilities, but they're but they're all very big, so you may hurt someone. So he goes, you he, he hold back a little bit. Hold up. So yeah, I'm also kind of a bit upset at Ichigo, but uh, yeah. But eventually, Ichigo is actually able able to use a bit of power to somewhat quote unquote create a dimension. Taking a bit, 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 a bit of energy from just not energy, but a bit of like inspiration from the society prison, but also like like a mundo cells. Also a bit of bit of bit of from one and right, he created like a whole new sub dimension that's kind of like like, like kind of like right like kind of like in between like a mundo and the whole society, kind of like in the don guy, but also not kind of like that. But I just kind of held down and binded there, and here is kind of where he has to just stay. So yeah. Then we go on to, I would probably say about now the Fullbringer arc, but um, honestly, Fullbringers are kind of dumb. <laughs> so one thing, uh, well, Warren Hime with her, yeah, she lives with with Holly, Holly Bell's Fraction and Holly Bell herself. Or he is untouchable. Chad, Stark lives, lives with him. Grimjow, he lives with Ichigo. The Fullbringers are screwed in every, every single way possible. This arc doesn't happen because it ends in the first episode. Or the first chapter. Whatever you want to say. Hell, Grimshaw needs a job, so he works with Ichigo. <laughs> like, Grimshaw and Ichigo do odd jobs, and, we, and then, then when, like, when Ginjo's like, oh yeah, I, I need to know about this man. Gin, Gin, not Gin. Grimshaw immediately kind of, tore, kind of tore off his arm and threw, threw him out of the other building, other building and killed him. And Grimshaw's like, oh yeah, he has Reishi too. He's pro 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 probably an enemy. Like, like a Rokshinigami. This was for the best. So yeah, the end, the end of the end of the full the program arc right in there. So that was in a blood war now. Uh, hold up. Okay, with the full bringer arc probably ending in the first episode because of Grimjo, not hesitating to kill Ginjo, we'd go on to just the, uh, well, I guess the Thousand Year Blood War kickoff. Now we'd have basically Ichigo, Grimjo, Ishin, Yuzu, Kari, all hanging out Walking out at the clinic, just watching, just watching TV and shit, only for them to be attacked by a wrong car with Quincy, with Quincy power. Ishin fights Eburn as Eburn is the guy that has like the, can like the cannon ability. Well, then Ishio would, 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 would fight, fight, fight Lunders or Luders, whatever his name is. And Ishio's gonna look, gonna look at him and just appear behind him with just his hand drawn. And if you guys are wondering what I guess what this would, this would be, 
It's just like he has his hand, like, like full on, on his hand, but his sword is like a full on hollow hand. This hollow hand belongs to, well, I would say probably the acid hollow, I forgot the name, but Ichiro has his hand, that is like his hollow, like his own part, the hand of the hollow. We can turn the whole upper half of, of Luders into just a puddle. So yeah, that guy's dead. Well, then we actually have Tojiro and Gein versus Driscoll. Mugamoto so pretty easily cleared out the remaining people in the office. The fact that, that he actually underwent zero division training with Ichibe because he broke his arm toe. Also, he's pretty badly beaten up by Ichigo. Ichigo impaled him. Yeah, Ichigo impaled Yomoto 11 times. And then also broke his Zompok toe, which is, which is also Yomoto's spirit. Yomoto went through insane training. And healing. Same for Byakuya, who got scorched by Ichigo. So... Not scorched, boy, she had, yeah, yeah, none of mine scorched. Ichigo burned that man with water, fire, wind. He, like, he used a steam that is over 13,000 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> yeah. Byakuya and Yamato are already insane in terms of power, so. Yeah. So, yeah, so, so Tojo also trained a lot with Yamato. Yamato was like, oh, yeah, if I'm up here, Tojo's going to train like crazy, and he won't be getting as strong, strong as he needs to be. Bring him up here. And each way he's like, yeah, you have enough, you have enough pull that should allow that, so he can come up. So Tojo trains a lot harder, but also Dean, the fact that he was a somewhat traitor, but also wanting to betray Aizen as well, just for the benefit of the, of the Gotei 13, which includes Rangiku, or for Rangiku, which includes the Gotei 13. He did this in like a bit of check-ins, as he, he doesn't get jail time, but said just like, kind of like, kind of like, kind of like, like, they like, with weekly check-ins with Yamamoto. So that's kind of what it is, and it's like sparring as well. So, as like Dean's leaving, Driscoll attacked Tojiro. Tojo about as like as Tojo about to have his bankai stolen, well immediately Gein jumped in the air and cut off Driscoll's head and me, like just from the start Driscoll's head is just removed. With that Gein landed and Tojo thanked Gein as Gein says like Gein, Gein, Tojo kind of says oh that guy came out of nowhere jumped from, jumped from the sky and attacked me. But Gein picked him up picked up Driscoll by his clothes saying he's a Quincy his clothes clothes resemble what's that boy's name? Uru Uru and Tojo says Uru yeah eat him and. You kind of threw just what he down, saying, Yeah, those are Quincy guards. And walked away. As Gein saw the giant rushing into flames from Yamato's office, knowing that Yamato was attacked by Quincy's as well, but those Quincy's are probably dead. So, yeah. But then the first attack on the whole society. So, we go to basically Ichigo, who's now, like, kind of, kind of, kind of running, running through the Hueco window. He can make a portal to the whole society as well, but he wants to check on the Hueco window because. There's no Espada in charge there. there it's, it's literally going to ran like, free range. But there's one thing. If you guys haven't read light novels, there's one singular hollow that Berrigan had a truce with because this hollow is so strong. That hollow is one in charge right now. He, he does kind of like, kind of run, runs it how, like, Berrigan did. But also, everyone doesn't want to cause violence because of the script that they may invoke said hollow. So, yeah, so it's Holly Bell and said hollow. So, Holly Bell and Nellie L versus... His, and said Hollow versus Kilgay, the jailer. And they pretty easily kill him. It's not that hard of a fight, honestly. But once they realize the Elvishin Quincy has been cleared out by all the Hollows, they actually just create a portal and Ichigo just walks through it. And this is before the whole, the whole Asnot beating the shit out of thing. But right now it's Love and Byakuya versus Asnot. And it's more of a draw. Love isn't as strong as, 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 as Asnot or Byakuya. And Byakuya has to look out for that because as, Asnot can get love at any time. And because Byakuya had to look out for someone else the whole fight. He was a huge, he ended up, ended up in a draw with Byakuya having his Bankai stolen. But he's not nearly as injured as before. He has, like, like, like Isana can treat these injuries. That's kind of how, how he is. You have Emma Lu, Mila Rose, and Sung Sun, because each show open, open a whole portal to the, to the Soul Society in Wicamundo. People can go in. So these three versus Bambietta. Keep in mind, even, even the Soul Society arc, they're already nearly as strong as human form Koamura, and these three together... They're like, like, them individually, they were all as strong as, like, humanized Komamura, or human form of Komamura. And as a group, and a lot stronger, they pretty easily just end up disrupting, disrupting Bambietta times ten. <laughs> so, yeah, he's, she's just destroyed. Latoto, I believe is her name, versus Komamura. Kind of brute, kind of like, kind of just gluttony versus brute strength. 
Those who tried to eat Kimura, Kimura grabbed her by the her jaw and just tore off her lower jaw completely, and that was in the fight right then and there, and he didn't even use Shikai, and just tore off her lower jaw in one, like, one go. So, yeah. Gein versus Kang Du. Gein honestly was saying if, if his, like, but kind of, like, playing, he was kind of playing around with Kang Du. Like, he let him steal his Bonkai, too, knowing that no one else can, can use his Bonkai the way he does. So, yeah. So, he let him steal it, and as Kang Du was like, huh, you seem pretty confident I lost his Bonkai. Gein says, Try to use my Zanpakuto even once and see, see how it works for you. Gein and Kangdu tried to use it once and lost control of it completely, and Gein, Gein kicked, kicked him back, back, back to the shadows, saying, Keep it for now. Learn, learn how to use it, and when you do, I'll still kill you. And then that was the whole reason. Yep, that was it. <laughs> so, yeah. Toshiro and Mangiku versus Basby. Basby pretty easily just beat the two of them. It wasn't a hard fight for him. And, yep, Toshiro also lost his, lost, lost his Bankai. So, yeah. Because, uh, all the bads are insanely strong. Slayphone, Peche, and Orihime versus BG9. They win. BG9 is, like, dead, but he's... Because he lost, he's killed by, by, by Hugram. Because King Du is also, like, kind of, like, beaten, even though he has Bankai, he's, all, he's not killed, but he's he has a shit beat out of him. <laughs> so, yeah. And Dodontraka and Lisa versus Pepe. Pepe is the letter L, the love. And Pepe beat them both. Don't try to kind of held Lisa back, but Lisa also held him back in some aspects. So, yeah. Don't try to the way he held her back is because he didn't spit out a numerad of just weapons or actual hollows. Pepe turned those hollows against them by making them love him, and because they love him, they attack others that harm him. By the time Don't try to use an ally by spitting them out, the ally attacked him and Lisa, so, yeah. Then we have Shenzhou versus Robert. Not much of a difference in the Chronicle fight. Well, the difference here is there's, there's no Yamamoto versus, um, versus, uh, what was it? Versus, um, the fake Yuobok. This is Shinji being a captain a while earlier because the moment that Aizen betrayed them, Shinji became a, became a captain a week later. <laughs> so, yeah, because he attacked this whole, this whole society with Ichigo. Or attacked it because he was with Ichigo. Um, yeah, Shinji. Plus, plus, with his like resurrection, can kind of, like direct his mist in only one one direction. He found he found Lloyd he found Lloyd Lloyd because Lloyd Lloyd is the one that copies memories and appearances. Or then Lloyd Lloyd copies appearances and power. So with this, well, Shinji kind of uses Zombok Toe on on Lloyd Lloyd to copy the appearance of memories of Yubok. Appeared in front of Yomoto, revealed everything, saying he's the real one. And he's not fighting the imposter. Or they actually confuse him. What, 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 like, you know, Lord Yubok, you said, you said, you said, you're going to go with Sosuke, Sosuke, Sosuke Aizen. Or Lord revealed, Lord, 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 Lord revealed himself, and then Shinji appeared behind him, cutting off his head, saying that your brother, your brother's pretty, pr pretty easy to control. For, for Lord, Lord, Lord knew what happened, he's impaled to the chest by Yamoto, not even using a Shikai, and just simply just has his head, has his head has kind of, kind of just gutted. He went to Rain to go see Aizen, only for, only for, for Yubok, Yubok to already be gone. So there's, there's no one who fought Yubok here. But immediately, Yamoto thanks Shinji for just the whole thing. You know, you know, Yubok ran away from Aizen, and Aizen says he didn't hear anything, so it works out. So Aizen's not important in this arc whatsoever. He's in the Dongai. Or in Ishio's self-created Dongai, because Yamoto has a portal that leads to that. Go to check on Aizen. So, yeah. Yubok also couldn't get in there. Which Yamoto didn't know. <laughs> so... Yeah. What it takes to get in there is literally the Oken, and Ichigo can make his own Oken. And Yamamoto says, has said Oken. Or Holoken. Yeah. Now we have Maninus versus Ion. Because because the, because Emilio, Mila Rose, and, Tony, and, Sung, and Sung Sun finished their fight early, but also Maninus was there by about to intervene on Komura's fight. Immediately, they turn off their arms, throwing them right at right at her, and then immediately the arms grab into Akon, or Ion. And when my when my started to, like, punch Ion, Ion, like, just tanked it and just punched her in the face and they were flying across the society. And this is a fight of honestly just sheer brute strength and speed. That's all this fight is. And Ion's wiping, is, is, is wiping the floor with her. As he gets angrier, he just gets bigger. And as he gets bigger, he gets stronger and faster. So this, fight's, this fight is going in his favor com completely, and he won in five minutes. So, yeah, he, he's not as durable as Ion is. So yeah. Now with this, there's a lot. Of, there's all training, and Ichigo even got to go, even got to know Ichibe for a bit. At the point where Ichigo even met the Soul King, and when Ichigo were like, had, 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 like the, or kill it, Ichigo was like, able to overcome it. 
Why should they come to Ijibe on why Ichigo is like, struggling with something? Then she mentions yeah, Yubak did call him his son because Ichigo, Ichigo kind of saw Yubak on the way out, but he didn't fight him because he was unscathed and like, if you have didn't skate you, skate you, I think I do. I think I think I would. It was just I'd probably lose. Those who told Yubak leave before before he kills every single senator here, and Yubak because he he needs, he needs his pawns, he would just leave. It's kind of kind of more or less a stare down between Ichigo and Yubak, not a fight. But Ichigo mentioned that whole thing, and well, Yubak. Well, Ichibe's like, oh, if you're his quote unquote son, because you're a Quincy, that may mean with all your that may mean that may mean that he's trying to influence you to kill to kill this whole king. Ichibe says it says it's most likely. And then she with this, they bring Ichigo to Aizen. And Ichigo says that he actually trusts Aizen right now, just to just kind of fix Ichigo's mind. And immediately Aizen just does so, saying he spent this whole time reflecting on his power and doing things. He's not tied up or anything. He's just honestly binded to the point where his ratio is very low. All he's had to do is bond is bond with Zonpak Toe, the point where Zonpak Toe doesn't even need him and he doesn't need it. He can just say Bonkai and he can use his Bonkai with his bare hands. But he's not, he's not, he's not, he's not leaving this area, he's still accustomed to it. This is because Aizen has been left in here so long with only his thoughts, he doesn't want to leave anymore. Which is one of the only reason why he's not important in this arc besides fixing Ichigo's mind. Or his Reishi. And it worked. He did perfectly. Ichigo, Ichigo, Ichigo no longer wants to kill the Soul King. But on the Wandenreich fight with the with like the whole world world quarters now in the Wandenreich, here's how the fights go: Ichigo, Ichibe, Yamamoto, and Shunsui versus Yubak. Shunsui, the fact that Shunsui's ability could be, could be useful if Yubak had beaten the three, Shunsui could trap him in his game room, and it's, it should be enough time for them to act on game room game realm. And it should be enough time for the other three, the three to recover in case because Yubak can't play the games, but he can we can we can live through them. So it's more like since we can be there as a just in case we get beaten up and you're still okay. <laughs> so yeah. No fights. Now we go on to basically Urahara, who's been training Uryu since he was thirteen. So yeah. So Urahara's like, oh Uryu, I know this isn't you. Why'd you do it? And Uryu can't can't lie to Urahara because Urahara's like another father to him, a father that he actually liked, but then he also discovered that he liked his father and father too. So that's how that in the story though. But with this, Uryu can't lie to Urahara, told Urahara why, Hugram heard it, then leads to Urahara and Uryu versus Hugram. I think Hugram can push Urahara to use Bankai, it's just Urahara would make the fight last long. I'm not like individually, but now with Uryu by his side and Uryu's insanely strong, they don't even need each they don't need, they don't need Urahara's Bankai, they honestly just need his skill and that's about it, and they, they kill Hugram. So, yeah. Utake and Mayuri versus Pratida, pretty good fight, they win. So yeah, like like Uzaki eventually had to like use his full power killing himself, but that like the death that he gave himself had actually killed Bernida. But Mary Mary had prepped this as actually well well they they all they all had kind of somewhat reports on like Yuobok and what everything that happened because he had used every single moment of his guards to try to get into the Don guy or Han guy. It's kinda of what Isho calls like kinda of H as H's to everything. But yeah, they said they saw, saw Pernida on some, some footage, and Ukutake kind of told them the whole thing about, about like Pernida left and right hands, with uh, Ukutake being the right hand. They already knew that if the right hand were to leave, Ukutake would kill him, because Ukutake is very important to Shunsui and Yamamoto, and they'd appreciate if appreciate if he lived. But they may grant him a bit more material if he's nice to him. He found a way to bring back Ukutake and did it just now. Ukutake is alive. And Urahara helped him, helped him prep that with Hachi and Tessai. So, Ukutake's alive, but now he's bound to a to a wheelchair and can no longer use Reishi. So, yeah. He's still alive, though, so it works out. And Yamamoto and Shunsui would be okay with this, so it works out. Holly Bell and Neliel versus Askin. Also, they do have, like, I would say, like, Yushiro, Yoruguchi's brother. But with these two being insanely strong and Yushiro being Yushiro... They pretty easily clear out Askin because he's not strong at all compared to the two. Although this his visibility is annoying, and with how fast they move, he can't process how much they hit him. So he would just die to the fact that he can't comprehend how he's being killed. That's about it. He can comprehend how he's being killed, and then eventually with this, eventually the uncomprehensible uncompreh just eventually kills him. Honestly, stress would kill him because it's happening so fast. And just has a fucking heart attack and is in the fight right then and there. But, Toshio versus Bazby. Toshio is using a Holified Bankai. 
and Basby is using Tushar's Bonkai Tilly and poisoning him. Then Tushar froze his flames, and then, then, then Tushar kind of froze him completely. Basby's body eventually kind of plummeted, and his body's like destroyed, but it's very badly cracked, and he's not dead, but he's just like, you know, paralyzed now. So, uh, yeah. With this, Basby is kind of just arrested. Apprehended. Then Gein versus Kang Du. Gein disrespects the shit out of Kang Du constantly this whole, in this whole arc. And Kang Du's like, huh, you said you, said, you, said, you said you'd kill me with no Bankai? Do it. And when Uhara offered Gein, like, the qualified Bankai, Gein looked like a pill. And as soon as Kang was like, Gein was going to eat it, Gein turned it, Gein, Gein, like, crumbled it away, saying, no need. He ran at Kang Du, not even using his own Pakto, and he's just kind of throw him around like he's nothing, because he not speed his own Zonpak Toe in terms of his own reaction speeds. Because Kang Du can't do it, eventually each eventually Gein kind of kind of picked him up and just threw him clean. Like like Kang like, oh yeah, here you go. Like something like something like goes on Wakto at him. Gein appeared in front of him, grabbed him by the neck, and threw him in front of the on, on a building. Gein eventually had kind of used kind of not used but kind of watched his ability backfire on him, and immediately, well, Kang Du kind of just turned to ash from the inside out in a split second because he's not strong enough like Aizen to withstand that whole thing. So Kang Du killed him, killed himself because Gein threw him in front of the attack in a split second. So yeah, Gein also cut the Zonpak Toe before destroying it, and then using his own to get his Zonpak Toe back, or get his Bonkai back. So yeah. Okay, Kang Kang Du honestly, honestly was just was just fun for Gein to play with, and that's about it. Um, what else? Uh, Love and Rookie this time versus Asnote. Love won, wants revenge because because he held because he held Byakuya back. But Byakuya also is, 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 is letting Rukia fight against Asnoth now. So Love being Love being prepared to fight, being prepared to fight Asnoth, and Rukia being prepared to use her Bankai. Love, love being leading her through Asnoth's abilities as they fight, and Rukia and, Ruki, and Ruki being, lead, being leading Love through just tech, through like through techniques basically. Then she would use a technique as I don't know Love's ability, but I can't say like 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 Love 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 would use an ability where basically he can go for go, go from a distance, and he found he from from basically Pesh and Ichigo he he, he found from really combine his arrow with other things. With Rukia stabbed through the arrow as it was being charged, he yelled Bankai, and Love then uses then uses well his kind of to, to smack the Bankai and his arrow right as note. He was a hit him, it froze him so badly, but also exploded to the point where as note is just a Kind of just atoms now. There's nothing else in him. It's kind of just just destroyed that on that level. But the building buildings below were also also turned to just atoms. And him and Lover can just high five that as they're both very minimally injured, like a few small scratches just from the rubble. That's about it. What else? Uh Don Chaka, uh, Pesh, and Lisa versus Pepe. So yeah, with this, um, yeah, Pesh honestly did, did most of the work, but honestly it was like Lisa and Dunatraka did really good as they knew his abilities and, 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 and led Pesh through them, but Pesh saw the clean saw like clean through them all and killed them. It was, was a pretty easy fight for him, honestly. <laughs> Pesh is a savage. Ion, Komamura, and Byakuya versus Gerard. These 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 three are the ones fighting Gerard. So I'm gonna give Kimpachin another fight, actually. Did I give him another fight? No. So Ion, Komamura, Byakuya, and Kimpachi versus Gerard. Yes, he's not fighting fighting Grammy, someone else's. Alright. Um fucking Uh Did I even put Grammy down here? I hope I did. Yeah, I did good. Alright. So yeah, so basically we'd have you'd have basically Ion Komura, Byakia, and Ken Pachi versus Gerard. I am and quote and like can like the and Gerard are kinda of like growing rapidly to the point where like Gerard and him are basically equal at every single turn, which annoys Gerard. When we're Gerard's like overwhelming himself and as they fight, come with Ion kinda of like getting mad and but Ion's not really a human ish creature. And also Ichigo kinda of like each kinda of like spawn like monetizing every single fight by using his like what's the ability called that I had him do? Or how I how I phrase it. Uh they're basically just, just Shinigami, but they're wearing red hollow mask or red hollow helmets or, or hollow helmets with red stripes across their faces. It's just going to use that to supervise every single fight, and he's giving them each individual abilities of his own. These individual abilities, one of them includes the time ability. So each person using the ability on Ion and Gerard. Gerard's not aging, neither is Ion, but Gerard's getting angry and angry by the second. So with this, with Gerard getting angry and angry every a lot faster, 
kind of like, um, well, well, who was it? Who was it? Kind of, kind of like, kind of like Askin, with him being overwhelmed so constantly, and Gerard being not overwhelmed, but being annoyed and just agitated so much to the point where he actually kind of just, kind of, this, this body just gives out with how much kind of stress he's putting himself under to beat Ion. The Gerard kind of killed himself unintentionally, but he did it. No injuries, nothing, nothing. His heart just stopped. And now it's in the fight right then and there because Ion I, I was pushing him that hard. Now before Ion I went berserk, Ichigo gave 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 a few of the of the, of the hollow helmet helmeted people abilities to kinda of just like I would say kinda of like kinda of like venom blasts. The rest of these blasts kinda of just kinda of like kinda of just burned Hold up. A lot of the hollow helmeted um clones that Ichigo kinda of burn through Gerard using venom spit not a Gerard. Through Ion beats a venom spit. I think we're, we're, we're Ion kind of just ahead now. Then eventually the head just dies. Emma Lu, Mila, Mila Rose, and Sung Sung get their get their um arms back. And uh, yeah, Gomera also 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 putting work into Gerard. He killed Gerard by nine like ninety percent of the time. While Ion only equaled him. Then Biaki and Kenpachi were also doing good work, but Gomera and Ion Ion shockingly put in most of the work compared to those two monsters. So yeah. Now you have Renji versus Renji versus versus mas, mas, the masculine. But Renji being trained in a lot more like, like battle IQ and just both well, skill in general, and not, and just, like, not like learning his Zanpakuto's name, which already underwent that because Ichigo can do that. Ichigo forcefully removes spirits from everything and everything like that. And let's go with him in good friends, good friends with Renji. Renji had to know Zanpakuto's name a lot earlier. Plus, Ichigo's friend with Ichibe. Ichibe helped Ichigo. Ichibe helped Ichigo's friends. Renji learned so Zabimaru like five minutes after the first attack on Soul Society. And Renji's had a, lot, had a lot more time with Zanpakuto than anyone would ever think. So, so, so Zabimaru pretty easily eradicates Master mas, 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 Masculine in like seconds. Not a hard fight. So, yeah. Then Candace Catnip versus Grimjow. Candace Catnip uses like, uses like, 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 like lightning based abilities. Yeah. Um. Grimjow is running faster than lightning constantly. Like, she uses like a lightning based blast. And Grimjow will run over the lightning and kick her through a, through a building. Like honestly, the fight is honestly for just for Grimjow, Grimjow, Grimjow to abuse her because I think it'd be funny. Like, he is beating the living shit out of her, and it's and it's amazing. So like Grimjow, Grimjow kind of just obliterates her. The next fight would be Nianzol, Nianzol versus you know, it's Shinji versus Nanana. So yeah, so Shinji versus Nanana, and. Well, no, 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 it's like, starts like, starts like, scan Shinji's, like, 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 kind of like Ryatsu. And that's when I pull him off and scan it. And just use inverted world and mess up all the senses. Then, then made him an, then made him, oh, I made him scan U-Box power. Then it told Ichigo, Ichigo kind of like, the ends and out of U-Box power. And as soon as, soon as, soon as he, he's let Nanana go, though, U-Box killed him for being a traitor. So, uh, yeah. So... Nianzo kind of ended up doing himself in because he got tricked tr 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 by, tr tr by Shinji. It was, was kind of funny. So yeah. Now, Grimmy versus Kesai and Yoroichi. I just want to know how, want to know how, they, how they would win this fight. And I'm going to pull this a third time. Like Askin, like Gerard, and now Grimmy. These three are not, not the smartest whatsoever, and they're used to being strong. They're used to it. I was like, oh yeah, I'm death. I'm death. I, my, 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 my power is death dealing. You can't, you can't kill me. I was got killed so much to the point where his body cannot comprehend how he was being killed because they can limit their power so much. Like, Nelly yell and, and Holly Bell hold himself back to the maximum. Could kill, could still pretty easily kill Askin. Or Gerard. There are four people there that can kill him in seconds easily. And there's a beast that kept equaling him at every single turn no matter how strong he got. That'd be annoying and overwhelming. But now Grimmy. We're seeing a genius in Tessai and a monster in in Yoruichi who changes every 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 forty three seconds. Tessai broke down Yoruichi's power in detail against Grammy. Grammy tried to counter it, but he used his imagination, but he couldn't counter it, so his powers made useless. Then ruins Grammy, that ruins Grammy's mind. But Tessai is using powers at once, the point where Grammy thinks Tessai is using powers just out of his ass, and he's not. Tessai is just writing his powers so so wide with 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 with, 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 with your energy being so weird that he honestly could not think of what to do to beat any of them because they kept on coming with new powers. 
And with this, Remy is killed the fact that he could not limit any of their powers whatsoever. Because he can limit it, or try to find a way to counter it, he just dies. So yeah. So these two were like the exact match for Gemi. Then we have, we have Nianzo versus, versus Kensei and Mashiro. Nianzo tries to use the wine on one of Kensei's punches. Kensei's whole thing is like, like kind of, kind of, like, kind of like rip, rip, ripping through air. Well, Nianzo's thing is bending the air. But when, when Kensei used the punch, it immediately kind of bent through the wind and chopped off a good portion of Nianzo's body. The monster just pretty used like kind of music, I guess, like a Cero infused fuse, like 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 one of the wind tearing of punches that Kensei had used. And with this, it tore apart Nando's body on an atomic level and killed him. So yeah. Now a fight that I've been waiting for is Stark versus Lele Barrow. Stark and Lele Barrow at this point, with now Stark using his full power, te tearing off like the binding that Urahara usually hasn't has him on. Stark and, and Grimjar are the ones that wear the binding the fact that, they, that their power just constantly just reaches out and kills things. And Grimjar, yes, killed, killed Ken's catnip using the bind. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, so when it came to basically just Stark versus Lily Barrow, they're, they're both basically unkillable, but Stark's aim was shockingly better, better than Lily Barrow's. Lily Barrow tried to use one of his abilities. Stark shot his bullets out of the air and shot into his gun. Who really Barrow is actually being overwhelmed by Stark as well. I'm not putting the ass pole where Barrow is being killed by his own overwhelming. No, any ability he used, Stark just destroyed that ability. Stark is destroying Lily Barrow at every single turn, point where he's being unbeatable. But then eventually, Stark had eventually used his, used his like a third resurrection, which is his hope, his quote unquote Hogyoku form. It's only when the Hogyoku form in appearance, not in power. But his form, Stark is literally immortal, and nothing can really be missed by him. Like, he cannot miss any single shot, and it does quintuple the damage that it did before. But in fact, he knows the Barrow is just destroying it on atomic scales. And it does kill the Barrow. So, yeah. Lily Barrow had no power up his sleeve, even using his even using using his shrift. He could not beat Stark because Stark would not die by it. But Stark is also destroying him every single turn, as he as we also would see, like, uh we would also see, what was it, fucking, well, Shinzo doesn't intervene, but Nanao is there as well. He just had a toe, and she did use it once, but Stark, so Stark kind of helped her lead it, and she's, and he, since he's used to teaching, it went, it went really well. So yeah, Stark's a bit of, a bit of, a bit of, a bit of teaching Shinsui, he's a, he's a Shinsui, but a lot more skill and power. Like, this Stark would kill, would kill Shinsui in seconds, even if he used Bankai, I'm gonna be honest. So yeah. Lily Barrow was going to just outmatch out every single turn, even in intelligence by Stark. So, yeah. Now we have Oetsu versus Giselle. Oetsu and, uh, fuck it. What was that, what was that cloth, the cloth, cloth, remember the Zero Division? I forgot that person's name, but Oetsu and that person just kind of fight against it's Giselle. And Oetsu, this was going to cut through every single time that Giselle had it, and like, oh, zombies! Oetsu's like, oh, cool! Cut through the zombies. I mean, kind of like fluttering blood, what's you can kind of like, oh, your blood can't get on my sword, even if I can splash on the ground, like, I'll, I'll cut through it, but there, there won't be blood splashing anywhere near me, because my sword is kind of just getting in the way. Then, even if the blood would get near me, there's, I if you guys heard that, if, if like, oh, blood is near me, here's cloth, or here's, here's those guys that can't be turned into zombies. So, yeah, so, Giselle was kind of, was kind of, was kind of rendered useless. Tenjiro was also there, turning the zombies back into, back into humans. With um with with help of Mayuri, May May and Unohana Unohana is dead, so it doesn't matter. But yeah. But Ichigo, Ichibe, Yamamoto, and Shinsui versus Yuobak, and the plan that did actually go according to plan, where basically Ichigo, Ichibe, and Yamamoto had lost, not lost, but they had defeated for for a, for a minute or not for a, for a minute or two. And Shinsui had trapped had trapped all of them in his bankai, but it only affected Yuobak and him. But eventually, new players had arrived once once Ichigo and everyone else had been, had been fully healed. Ichigo would basically use his senses on Getsu, as he already has that constantly. But, uh, hold on. So yeah, sorry, my own paper ended up falling. Now, using his using senses on Getsu, Ichigo would eventually use technique that he never uses at all. Carbon copy. He would use carbon copy and fuse with it. Being able to fuse with it, he is now, essentially, Ichigo and Yuobak fused. One reason is that this effect is that it takes a lot of reishi and makes him very sensitive to a lot more attacks. 
But now with this, with the carbon copy having every single power as Ubok, or at least the ones that the, the, that Ubok has been showing and saying out loud, each of we would use some, some abilities, but now implied with hollow powers. And uh, with this, Ichigo had finally found a way to kill Yuobok. But he didn't pass out right after because he used up everyone's Reishi he had. And it was like, okay, I I can see why you, why, why you wouldn't use that ability in, in combat because Rangers are useless and we don't know if the war's over yet. But since he suddenly disabled his Bankai, only to see that every single fight had went according to plan and there's, no, there's, there's little to no casualties on their side whatsoever. Like, there's, there's very few casualties. It, it is just funny. And Gein is kind of, kind of stomping on the head of, oh, well, on the head, on the, like, this lower, lower body of King Du, just for fun, because he can. So, yeah. But with this, this would end this part. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe for more. Adios.